as our two lovely guests sat down, <laughs> Piers asked, can we have a shot of I our said, two well, guests? I said, I said, come on then, who's who? And what did you do? There we are. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. There we are. That's all yeah. <laughs> so, um, okay. all right, look. Yes. Why do this? Because Piers has said it's unattractive, it's slovenly, he's never going to fancy you, uh, he's le you're lazy for not getting rid of your body hair. Do you well, care what Piers thinks of you? Interesting, interesting question to open with. No, I'm totally cool with that. It's interesting um, that the reaction is often, oh, but won't men find this unattractive? So, first of all, thanks for checking. I'm fine. Uh, as regular viewers of your show will know, I'm polyamorous. I have several boyfriends. Uh, you know, I'm getting male attention regularly. you polyamorous? Yes. Oh, wow. let's not um, get diverted, <laughs> Piers. Let's not means get I have them. several boyfriends, so I'm getting male attention sounds like the vegan who told me she was a flexitarian. enthusiastically and skillfully. But also, right. let's... Isn't this a fascinating that as soon as women do something with their bodies, the reaction is, what will men think? Yes. Well, you know what? Actually, maybe I think it's a great thing because, you know, well, the one thing my armpit hair does is it filters out the kind of men who think that's important. Right. And as far as I'm concerned, that's an absolute plus. That's a straight-up win. Right. Yeah. Already, so, somebody in the vicinity who's going to make a fuss about something as natural and normal as that... Actually, the only, ones, the only ones making a fuss are people like you who are engaging publicly in January. Well, My argument is, ago, I don't care if going... you want to do it, but rather like with the vegans, you want to storm into restaurants screaming at meat eaters. I don't want you screaming but about it. About I don't care. Control. She's not screaming <laughs> about it. She's simply Where appearing on are. our programme. Ashley, you, I have to say, your face throughout that whole explanation <laughs> uh, looked revolted. I'm repulsed. I'm sorry, hun, it's your personal choice, but I can see them sort of sticking out and it's mm. just... I find it repulsive. Isn't that just For social me... conditioning, though? No, actually. no, no, Haven't no. Haven't we it's just hygiene. developed a view... Oh, Piers doesn't know yeah. Piers. No, Are you but... disgusted by him? Well, I don't see Piers' <laughs> armpits, so perhaps maybe if I saw Piers' armpits... So as long as I wear long no, but... sleeves all the time. But it's, it's bacteria, it's smell, it, it's... Oh, it's... A... it's not no, really... No, 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 it's, it's fine. I can't deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't deal. But Listen, there... I, don't, I just think, why make a big fuss, fuss and song and dance about growing your armpit hair? There are bigger things to do. Because so men make a big fuss fight... about do it, Do you that's think why. that maybe if we walk around with hairy legs, and hairy armpits, we're going to get well, Kate, pain Kate, in the Well, Kate, you shave your legs, right? No, I don't. They just, don't. There just isn't much there, but... You no, never have any, you've never shaved your legs? I have. You have. When I was okay. a teenager, I did. But okay. I think it's exactly... Why don't you grow a full beard? Seriously. I've, I've tried. Well, I don't think you'd, you'd like to. Did you? uh, well, I don't, I'm not yeah, sure that I'd had... like to, but... Um, but why wouldn't you? But why I... wouldn't you out of interest? I mean, if you believe in the power of hair, being empowering, why wouldn't you grow a full beard? Women generally can't grow full beards. I think that if I had a hair growing mm. on my chin, I might decide at some point mm. to take a stance and not spend hours tweezering it out. It's painful, it's uncomfortable. But you do do that, do you? What? You tweeze the hairs out? Do you not understand about women not having beards? <laughs> um, I can't <laughs> explain it. This is like no, I'm just asking I you. I don't, I don't tweeze my You're all about the empowerment of hair. <laughs> do you tweeze the hairs out of your face? Oh. No, I haven't got any, mate. Right, you never, never do that? <laughs> never. You've I mean, never done that? I mean, no. Like, right, I, you do I, on I, your legs? I, no, I, I, no, doesn't shave her legs. You just said you just, you have shaved your legs. I, I have when I was a teenager. But this is let me let's let's talk right. about this. This is important, right? Because the thing is, if you look at the media, every woman is hairless from the neck down. That's yeah. what the media shows mm. us. In you this can watch country, a film, not in other yeah, countries. You, sure. you know. But you can watch a film about women who've been trapped in the jungle for six years and they're still completely hairless. And <laughs> now they found as... a shell, they've sharpened it, and they've got rid of what they're supposed to get rid of. It's unhygienic. But, like the thing is, to. that's totally fine. If it's your choice, I totally respect Ashley's choice. That's what she prefers to do, that's fine. But if young women are growing up and every woman they see is completely wax-shaved, plucked with an inch of her life, then what happens? They turn 10, 11, 12, 13, mm. they grow a few body hairs and they think there's something wrong with them. No, they no, think it's no, disgusting. I disagree. And I just when feel I first... really strong that we have to send a message to young people that says... What is the, the message you're sending? The way your body is naturally is absolutely fine. Yeah. Right. There is you nothing wrong with it. you yeah. at step one. If you mm. want to change it, you can. But exactly the same way, I think it's important there are women in the media who have grey hair because, sure, you can dye it if you want to, but it's OK to go grey. Sure, you can do things yeah. if you want to, but it, the way you there's are naturally is fine. There's a lot more pressure, actually, there's a lot fine. more pressure on women to look a certain way and this that's is about not why fitting I a certain armpits. stereotype. I, that's not why I shave my armpits. I think it's hygienic. I think it's, I think it's rude not to. I think if I was stood next to someone on the train and they put their big hairy armpit up like that in my I face... Do that I sometimes. Brought... It takes a few minutes. I shave every morning when I come yeah, on the show, right? It's, it's, just, just, it's, just, it's, it's just not promoting it's feminism, cool. it's promoting yeah. laziism. <laughs>
that's even a point. What's shave from your wrong arms, with being so a bit, Piers? Well, maybe being a bit lazy. Do. Maybe athletes you'd rather do. learn a language that time of the morning. Maybe you've got other things well, to do. Well, it takes 2.3 seconds to just go shh. And then that's it, you're clean. Right. But it's not Done. really laziness if you don't do it. It's obviously a... In my case, mm -hmm. uh, as we all know, it's an empowered feminist decision. Yeah. You're welcome. But that's not going to get us equal decision. pay. Yeah. It's Absolutely. not going to get us equal yeah. pay um, if we're walking around with hairy armpits. There were far more important things we could do. But, you see, that 3.2 seconds, I spend that campaigning <laughs> for equal pay. The there we go. Oh, there's my 3.2 seconds. Equal pay, I'm with you. Can I talk about your polyamorous thing a minute? Because oh. I've, I've never heard of this before. So you have multiple boyfriends. You're polyamorous. What is yeah. polyamorous? Uh, poly, meaning many. And yeah. Amory, meaning love. It means I have. So I practice ethical non-monogamy, which means that I am ethical not monogamous. Ethical non-monogamy. And everybody in the situation knows what's going how on. How many are in your thing. little circle of, of non-monogamy? Sort of depends how you draw the lines, but I have two or three fairly regular, serious partners, and about five or six other guys that I date. From eight time to guys. Time. <laughs> about ten. Totally. You're having sex with eight men. Not, all, you're you know, not right now, Piers. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to be, but I sort of what? thought I'd come on your show. Um, no, but I'm really I, I'm not going to get out of here. That's the first thing <laughs> I'll be doing. So your polyamorous basically means you can just have sex with whoever you like. I yeah, think I need to, I think I need to and do any of these? Do all the guys way. know? Or do all, all <laughs> eight men know actually. you're doing this? Yeah, everybody really? knows. And they also date other people if they wish to. Really? And we're all very good friends. Are you getting jealous? Um, well, I mean, it's not that I never think, oh, but first of all, like, the, for me, the benefits outweigh the occasional negative feeling. Like, I think we all feel jealous sometimes. You know, if someone else gets a promotion that you wanted, you think, it's oh, different from but sharing. you don't think, you know, you don't think I have you? to leave my job and burn the place down. You think, mm, that's a bit Do nice. you ever take all of them away together at the same time for a holiday? Or? <laughs> uh, no, but I do hang out with more than one of them at the same time. Oh, like, really? Two, in fact, God, two of them came over for Christmas. <laughs> really? Um, and, and what happens at night? What the well, what Piers, we, what? Piers, I don't know. a very intrusive so, person. Very genuinely so, intrusive. So, yes, Piers, I suppose when a mummy and a daddy like each other very youngsters. much, um, I, I, I feel like I'm explaining the right So how many people did you wake up with on Christmas Day, for example? Um, just the right number, thanks, Piers. How many yeah. is the right, right number? Well, that's for Kate that's, to know that, and you yeah, to continue exactly. to wonder well, about that. Exactly. <laughs> we left some mince pies out for Santa. So you, you use your imagination, Piers. Do any of your eight men have a problem with January? No, None clearly not. Clearly None not. of them have even expressed an opinion wrong. about it because I all eight of here. them <laughs> value my warmth, my generosity, my no, creativity, my intelligence. Right. And none of them You're are caring, the sort of petty-minded people who would get obsessed <laughs> with something as normal and natural and indeed beautiful yeah. as a few normal human hair follicles. OK. Thanks well. for asking.